So uh, Anthem has apparently gotten off to a rocky start with its VIP demo. So uh, let's just look into it real quick. To be totally honest, um, Anthem is a pretty nice game. Just gonna say that real quick. But let's just get into the, uh, the thing here. So uh, the Anthem VIP demo, an update from BioWare's head of live services. And live services is another thing. Uh, I really hate the fact that games being viewed as a live service really grinds my gears, but that's something else all entirely. So let's just get into it. Yesterday was rocky. The first day of the VIP demo weekend did not go exactly as we planned and wanted to share what happened. And, uh, you know, I can't figure out why it, it would have not gone as planned. It's it's not like they had no idea how many people were probably going to log in. In order for the VIP demo, you know, the or I'm sorry, the VIP portion of it, um, you have to essentially pre-order the game or have, like, the whatever subscription thingies with Origin and all that good stuff, like the premium thingies. Can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. It's too early in the morning. And uh, this is going to be one heck of a week at work. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not like they didn't know what to plan for. They, they could have easily known what, what kind of numbers to expect. But anyway, let's let's get into this. We've been testing the entire game and platform for several months, but there were a few things we missed. Real world play frequently leads to unexpected issues. Before I share details on this and what we're still facing, I will dispel one comment we've seen that we under planned for server capacity. To ensure stability, we intended to manage our servers to match player population as it grew. Overall, we had excessive capacity prepared for population increases and could not do so, or and continued to do so. <laughs> that said, what's important is that all parts of the game work as designed to meet players' needs, and that did not happen in the opening hours. No, we got in, locked into the infinite loading screen. Um, yeah, infinite loading screen. I'm sure if you were there, you, you know what's going on. You, um, I mean, heck, you could look at Twitch um, when the game launched. Or, I'm sorry, the game, the demo launched. Uh, high, high numbers on Twitch. And then suddenly they quickly declined over the time because, well, nobody could get into the game. They kept getting hit with the infinite loading screen. But when they did get into the game, was a lot of fun um, especially you know getting into the mechs and stuff I can't think of what they're called but point is the controls and everything seemed fluid it looked good yes there are some glitches here and about but uh, let's let's see let's get into this part here well there are a number of issues we dealt with yesterday the primary three were platform connections this was caused by the spike in players entering the game when we opened up. Unfortunately, these issues did not uh, present themselves during our internal testing. Investigations are ongoing, and we will continue to apply fixes throughout the weekend. No duh. Like, seriously. This statement... It, when people make statements like this, especially when they're like a developer or something to that nature inside the industry, I have to ask... And I have to think, one, do they think that we're completely ignorant to everything? Seriously. Or two, are they legitimately that ignorant to everything and, and don't realize that we're, we're launching this new game, we have X number of pre-sales, we, we have X number of people commenting on this and wanting this, that, and the other, and... Uh, you know, we should probably go ahead and count for all this and then some, you know, just in case that, you know, some people may show up. We, we know that there's probably going to be guaranteed the people who pre-selled 
or pre-bought selling up for the or showing up for this we, we should definitely account for them and then some and then it happens every single time like no joke every single time in the past several years you wind up with your Aero 34s or whatever your Aero 75s and all these other different error messages where people can't log into the game they, they can't get in they get an error they get kicked out they get disconnected after being in multiple times and it's always the same story we did not expect so many people to show up you have the numbers you have access to those numbers how do you not know how many people might show up especially if you've gone ahead and set this thing up for a an increase in players over time or something which is you know whatever normally I would think you would want to set up for a decrease in the player base because for the most part games nowadays don't go the wow route where they just steadily increase for up 10 years until they really screw it up on the fourth expansion or something and then player numbers steadily decline so usually it's huge hit at the start and then everything sort of goes down and then they start to stagnate and you need to adjust for that so you're not paying for extra space or maintaining space that you don't need but you always 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 know that that first initial burst is going to be huge unless you legitimately thought your game was that crap and but yeah like seriously anyway next part entitlements these are accounts flagged that grant players things like their pre-order incentives and demo access during the demo weekend we identified a bug where VIP players worth a specific combination of entitlements were being blocked from accessing the demo we believe we've resolved most of these but have additional cases we are addressing and that there should have been probably something that you could have found out through internal uh, you know the internal systems uh, in the paragraph above you were talking about how these issues didn't present themselves during internal testing of course not unless you're internally testing thousands of people logging on to this thing server crashes from thousands of people logging into this thing are never going to prevent th or present themselves in that fashion because you're essentially alpha testing or beta testing in a closed environment at that point you're, you're doing internal testing so you're not going to catch that sort of thing meanwhile this sort of thing honestly I feel like could have been found out through internal testing by flagging various different uh, you know it, VIP incentives on, on the accounts and say okay log in if you pre-ordered from GameStop we're gonna set these up on this account test it out all right we're, we're gonna pre-order over here with the origin store or whatever uh, you know let's do that uh, we're gonna say we pre-ordered from here and we've got an incentive from over here let's test that out and launch the game that, that honestly sounds like that should be something that actually does get tested out and could be done internally but then again maybe I could be wrong I'm not a developer but that really does sound like something that could have been tested and prevented from the start but then again also running some betas more than just internally would probably help weed out those kind of information next one the infinite loads oh okay good I'm glad we're addressing it though this occurred for some players particularly when they were transitioning from for it to uh, an expedition we saw these only in isolated cases during internal testing and believed it was resolved unfortunately the problem is exhibited in the real world where differences with players ISPs and home networks introduced new behavior huh uh, sure why not because you know why not I guess your uh, your internet service provider could probably cause some issues 
and maybe home networks depending on how you get your network set up but for the most part honestly I think this is the only game I've ever heard that excuse used for in the past few years so whatever it is that you use to code all that it's probably a bad idea at that point as for the infinite loads I honestly feel like that was more of up at the top number one talking about platform fixes or platform connection I think the infinite load issue is more akin or related to that and this is just more sort of a what we're saying to make it sound like it's a completely different thing and all this other stuff and sound like we've done a lot more I don't know but uh, you know when you have a spike of players and you don't account for many people coming in you could hit an infinite load screen where it's trying to load and it just never loads because there's so many people in there and all the other stuff but anyway well let's let's continue to their type pr top priorities we'll go through that real quick continue to resolve any reports or issues with login and entitlement problems implement fixes to address infinite loads the loading loop I want to be upfront that this is a difficult one and something we may not resolve during this weekend well that that sucks for those who continue to get it or continued to get it missing out on that VIP demo uh, many players are not seeing the issue and the last thing we want to do is destabilize the experience for everyone this here is more minimizing at this point not many players are seeing this issue yet there were enough of them to actually address it makes me really think that it, it really is an issue <laughs> and this is more like downplaying it's like look 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 I know like hundreds of you are playing right now I don't know what the numbers are so I'll say for argument's sake 500 people playing the, the demo I know it's probably more than that but five, I know there's 500 of you playing this demo right now but only two of you are having the infinite loop issue or the infinite load issue so it's it's not that big of a deal it is going to be difficult and we may not be able to fix it so if you are the two who are having that problem I apologize I'm sorry we'll make it up to you but just just keep in mind it, it's just two of you and we don't want to destabilize the experience for everyone so then everybody's suddenly having this problem in reality the two is probably you and 450 of the other players at that point and there's about 50 of you not having issues that that's really what that sounds like to me because if it really is just a small portion of the group you know to address it as one thing you know sticking in a pack snoach sticking it down further on a lit long laundry list of things maybe but uh you know to make it as one of your top priorities it's definitely not happening to just a few it's happening to more anyway improved server performance we've heard reports of rubber banding and other signs of server latency we believe we can address this and we'll be conducting some small scale experiments to confirm that we may roll some fixes out this weekend and may wait for the open demo next weekend depending on the level of risk to the overall service again service games are not a service but that's what they want anyway yeah latency problems definitely an issue server issues uh, again I've talked about that you knew what was coming you knew approximately how many people were coming and then the extras and you chose to not account for that um, of course makes me wonder if things like that are, are done like that sometimes because there we go we've got issues with said game we don't need everybody to find out so let's throw in another issue to throw everybody off while we continue to fix these other issues could be a thing I don't know but uh yeah anyway let's continue 
While we had problems, we are also had many players enjoying the game. It's been incredibly humble to see many people watching along with us on Twitch over 300k concurrent viewers yesterday and 100 million minutes watched. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was about to say 100k watched the next. <laughs> My bad. Those are uh, Fortnite type numbers. Thank you for your support. Our goal is to get everyone into the demo and having fun together. Um, okay. I mean, we, we got some numbers of how many people were viewing it the first day, at least. <laughs> 300K. I, I guess they didn't want to release the other numbers since things kind of bugged out on everybody and it dropped on the Twitch charts dramatically after that. But uh, anyway. We appreciate everyone's patience. Sincerely apologize of those who have been get, having issues getting into the game as a token of our appreciation for your enthusiasm and any issues you've encountered. We've given everyone who participated in the VIP demo week an additional new vinyl at launch. Um, we believe we've created an amazing game, blah, 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 yada, yada. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that that is... That's that's nice. I'm not going to fault them for that. Giving players who had issues this weekend something else. Um, sad part is that that particular item is probably going to be on some kind of money store. And, and people are going to have to buy it. Or they may, you know, take that out. I don't know. But um, otherwise they wouldn't have it to give to players if they didn't already have the asset made and created to give them at launch, which means they were already going to use that asset for something else. That kind of stinks. But you get something for free that normally other people might have to pay 5, 10, 20 bucks for. I don't know what their pricing scheme is going to be because I'm sure they will have a store and they will have a pricing scheme because of course they will. Um, but anyway, other than that, the game is nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and rail on Anthem for this, that, and the other because there's nothing really to rail on it for other than the issues it had this week and of people primarily logging in and the fact that they could have, they should have been able to account for that, but they chose not to. Um, other than that, <clears throat> there's really not much more to do talk about about this uh the game looks nice the game is fluid responsive when it wants to be of course <laughs> minus latency issues and uh you know the whole logging in bit seems to be the biggest issue with it but this this is a demo and not to be confused with a beta or an alpha or, or anything like this this is the finished product and as for gameplay and it playing it seems to be a pretty decent product as of right now. However, getting logged into it and actually getting into the server to play is another story altogether. And they've got about a week or so to get that fixed because they're going to open it up to a whole new huge portion of players this coming weekend for the open demo. So, you know, if you find something you're not happy with in this game, just keep in mind, this is the finished product at this point. Um, pretty much any thing that you may find glitch-wise, you probably should go ahead and report it as soon as possible so they can do a unfortunate day one patch to fix these issues when the game officially launches out the gate for everybody to play and buy. Um, but yeah, uh, let me think, or let me think. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> uh, what do you think about Anthem in the comments below? Did you even watch any of it? Did you get to play any of it? Are you one of the VIPs? Did you know somebody who was and went and played over there? Or at least attempted to? Did you have the infinite load issue? Uh, let me know down in the description. Description. The comments. The thingy that's down below the video that you can type stuff into. Tell me something there. Until then, I will talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. 
until then, I'll see you later. Bye.